Here's my credit card information. Hi, quick disclaimer before this video starts. Um, I've been sitting on this for a little while, not knowing if I should release it because I didn't know if that was responsible. <laughs> All I wanted to do was test how risky is it? Like what happens if I give out my information on the dark web? Like what actually happens? There's a few very sketchy things that happened that I'm not comfortable putting in a YouTube video yet. I got legitimately uncomfortable. Back like three years ago, I made one, dude, I didn't care. Now, I, I, I'm like a dad. <laughs> oh, now's a great time to tell you, Olivia and I are having another child, two kids. We're all slightly older and more responsible. Just don't, don't get on the dark web. It's a bad idea. Look me in the face here. Don't do this. It gets pretty sketch. All of that being said, enjoy. Everyone knows the dark web is a dangerous place. It's an endless supply of illegal activity. Your personal information is bought and sold. The Amazon of crime. Hackers, scammers, hitmen all lie in wait to snag your personal information and sell it to the highest bidder. I think. That's what everyone tells us, right? Don't go on the dark web. Super dangerous. You will get hacked if you use the dark web and are careless. Never download things. Give out your personal info or use your email ID. So I thought, what if I take my uh, trusty little laptop here that's just, it's got, <sighs> has probably about 10,000 viruses on it. Oh my goodness. What if I fire up the dark web on here and instead of being super careful, I instead just have like uh, my credit card information open on the desktop with my phone number that I just got activated here. My phone number, 312-7070. That's a good number. Combined with like, say, uh, my email account, all of my passwords and login info, put that right there. We'll change my wallpaper to my bank account pin. Password and bank account pin that we're for sure not gonna forget because it's my wallpaper. <laughs> and then instead of trying to hide it, we just get on the dark web and uh, browse around a little bit. <laughs> How to stay safe on the dark web. Comprehensive guy, oh. It's gone. <laughs> Welcome to the dark web hackers? Kind of a little scared. <laughs> Vladimir, remote control the phone of someone else? Don't worry, I'm not about to sell you a VPN. Oh man, I can't even pronounce where I am. You can download it from this link. Oh my goodness. I wanna go to like a chat room, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh no, I don't want any of that. <laughs> what is this? I think this is like a chat room or something. Net hangout, here we go. We're just gonna hang out on the net, on the dark net. A little dark net hanging out. Name, <laughs> my name Jeff. Hey, does anyone, wait, what is my, what is this weird cursor that I just got on? Want free V-Bucks? Post. Wait, someone posted a YouTube video? I'm just kinda, this is gonna be sketchy. Oh no. Oh. Dark web Facebook? What? Oh, here we go. You know, the dark web was originally created by the US government as a way to transport top secret information. Mm, I don't like how they all say virus free. It sure seems like they got viruses. <laughs> all right, we're opening Tor Chat. Oh man, this could get bad. Oh, anonymous dark web chat room engaged. Oh. That's me? I don't like this, man. Is anybody out there? Feels like I'm in the desert of the internet in 2014, just desperately crying out for someone to please take my V-Bucks. Thankfully, it was made open source so that I could publicly share my top secret information. Books for free. That's scary. I don't like this. Now, we're gonna go to Black Mart. Sounds very sketchy. I'll trade someone my credit card info for some knockoff Adidas or something. <laughs> so I can buy $3,100 for $60. It just seems very wrong. I will try to buy $1,000 fake cash for my credit card. It's all loading very slowly and sketchy luck. Product was added to your cart, excellent. <laughs> cash money, $1,000, cool. Proceed to checkout, hey. I'm gonna buy their money and then use their money to buy more money from them for infinite money. Pay and place order. Did I just commit a crime? <laughs> it wasn't me, it wasn't me, I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, well I sent him a message. I'm glad I didn't have to give him actual Bitcoin information. Let's go find a different seller and we'll ask them. Steam gift card, 250 bucks and it's $35, so proceed to checkout. Shoot me an email or call me. We'll just send this to a lot of people. See if we get any phone calls. What, what documents can I purchase? Oh, 
Cool. So if you want to pretend you have the vaccine, but don't, passport. Here we go. Six months warranty, my fake passport. What if I'm in prison? <laughs> what about them? Honestly, I'm so glad I'm a man. Imagine having to sit to poop. Let's see. Wow. Do you not know what you're doing here? Get out. Oh, that's kind of sketchy. Oh man. Do they have just like, like some ibuprofen? Okay. I'm hesitant to, these guys seem like they don't want to talk to me. As a kid, I thought it was a great deal to win an eBay auction for a penny, even when the shipping cost exceeded the value of the item. Shoot me an email or call me. I'm scared they're gonna call me though. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go to this weird search engine and just see if there's something we can download. Let's just type in free download on the dark web and see what it brings up. Private key finder hack software. Wait, uh, lots of stuff that has to be blurred. So this is a Bitcoin wallet that has been hacked. So this says it has 50 Bitcoin on it. And all I have to do, okay, come on. How dumb can you be? And all I have to pay is 0.25 Bitcoin to get 50 Bitcoin. Okay, well, let me download it. Bitcoin generator? Oh man, it's getting sketchier. Page four bang, free Minecraft. <laughs> oh, Bitcoin generator. Okay, cool. I actually got two Bitcoin? No way. Oh wait, we got the free chat. <gasps> Guys. You know, I've never met a person named Kathleen that was nice to me. So I hope whoever gets this isn't named Kathleen. Let's see if anyone buys anything. <laughs> virus maker? Oh, virus maker. Whoa, what? Virus Maker is a virus construction tool for creating a custom virus with the options you prefer? No way, this is legit. You can download it from this link. Jokes aside, this is when it got really sketchy. I don't like this, man. I don't like this. There's many reasons you should not do any of this and why this video is educational. Oh, it worked. Virus maker. Now, I have no idea what this program's gonna do. I don't know if it's gonna make a virus. I don't know if it's gonna download a whole host virus of maker. illegal things. Oh my goodness. It's I honestly didn't even think the link would download anything. I successfully downloaded something from the dark web. Okay, kill computer? I don't know if I wanna make that. But the scariest part about it all. What? It, it works? Was that it actually worked. I'm actually in awe that that just works. I'm clicking normally and it's right clicking. Oh my goodness. And it worked good. So I literally just gave myself a virus and I don't know how to kill it. So what does kill computer do? I think I have to know. I have to know. Man, I must see what kill computer does. Okay, I'm scared. Help. Extension will be an EXE. It's gonna kill computer, uh, change time, save. I'm scared help to the downloads. Okay, there it is, there it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna click it. Okay, I'm just gonna do it, I'm just gonna do it. I gotta be honest. I'm a little bit nervous. My heart's going a little bit. I don't know. Um, you know, I mess around a little bit on this channel. I um, I embellish things sometimes, but I'm a little nervous. It's hard to believe YouTubers because so many of them lie and just be like, I was on the dark web and... or something stupid. I don't know what we're about to see. It could be nothing. It could be nothing. And then we're gonna open the laptop and see what might have happened to it. The Visa credit card number has not been used for anything, at least not to my knowledge. <laughs> Let's just see what the notifications are. Let's start off with text messages, 13 text messages. Um, and it looks like we've got four phone calls, four missed calls, and the email, three emails. So, I don't know, man. Oh my goodness. Okay, come on. I'm right behind you. Okay. What? I'm right behind you, sends a picture of a car? This seems, I, I just gotta point out, this seems so staged. And then it says, you saw the booby. <laughs> oh, I could not have made this up. I'm a little freaked out. Somebody said, I'm right behind you, sent a picture of a car. Luckily, that's not my car, or else that'd be super freaky. The spam from straight talk, more spam from straight talk. I, I think I'm gonna text him back. I'm just gonna say, huh? And we'll just see if he texts me back by the end of this like recording. Let's go ahead and move on to the emails. We did give out our email to hackers. So let's see what they may or may not have sent us. And okay, no emails. Or maybe something in spam. Let's check the spam. There is one spam. Spam gift cards. 
Okay, we're gonna move on to the missed calls. And uh, then we'll get to the laptop. Two times someone tried to call. A few times someone's called from the same 310 phone number. And I can't think of anything to do other than try to call them back. You know? Hello? Hi, I missed a call from this number. Um, was it today? Was it the other day? Uh, let me check. It was a couple days ago, I think. I'm not sure why. I'm, uh... My name's Nick, I'm a realtor. Maybe you called me for one of my rentals. I'm not sure, sorry. No, okay, no problem, thank you. All right, have a good one. You too. Just a nice guy with the same name as me. So there's nothing suspicious about that other than the fact that he had the same name as me. And he sounded straight up like a Craigslist actor. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I've had like nightmares, like daydream nightmares of what that software could have done. Oh. I forgot my password, that's it. <laughs> that's a good reminder of what my password is. I'm just gonna see if it auto runs anything. Anything weird happens. Okay, something that, don't know what that is. Probably, it's probably fine. <laughs> it's probably not anything malicious. Oh, oh, we gotta see if someone took our V-Bucks. Thousand V-Bucks. Okay, my V-Bucks are still available. I should have known the cool dark web hackers don't play Fortnite. Last thing I think we need to do, since this has not done anything yet, we need to run a virus scan. Yo, he just texted back. Oh my goodness, this has to be a prank. Haha, <laughs> sorry to bother you. Just excited about a bird and then sent a link. And it says a brown booby is a bird. Are you a dark web hacker? Look at that, a brown booby. <laughs> the brown booby is a seabird found in tropical oceans around the world. And sometimes they have blue feet. A man with the same name as me happened to be a realtor. A woman follows her bird watching friend on the freeway and we received one nasty virus. And the moment I found contentment, as though I swam through the middle of the ocean millions of miles from any shark pit, I received notice of one last disaster. They have your social and your date of birth, yeah. I just have that little feeling that somebody's watching constantly that I didn't have before, but now I do. And you know what? I guess I did have it before. You watching me? I won $10,000, but they never paid me. I think it was identity theft. It's gonna be the MasterCard. I gotta call my banks. I put this on the YouTube. All my homies still miss Frank.